Hi, this is Richard Rossi, and I wanted to give a little message today on spiritual narcissism versus love thy neighbor as thyself. There's a character I have in my mind. I'm going to call him Pastor Ned Narcissist, and he represents so many of the sermons I've heard in evangelical Christianity were all about how God wants to bless you and how you have favor. And you have favor, and God gives you special favor above everybody else, so wherever you go, everyone who has lesser favor uh, gets a blessing because you're there and you're the one that has all the favor. And this kind of uh, mitigates against the fact that God loves everyone and God created everyone and God extends his grace and favor to everyone. The sun shines on the just and the unjust and the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Let me give you an example of this in the news recently. We had this tragedy in Florida where the high rise, high rise building collapsed. Some of you have seen that on the news. And some of the Christian folks that, that got out okay, or their relatives got out of this okay, they were saying things like, thank you, Jesus, that you love me so much that you protected me and got me out safe, and I have your favor, and I got out okay. Now, that's good, and I would probably have the same thought and praise God if I was in that situation and got okay. But what's missing there? What's missing there is huge. What's missing there is, oh, and I pray for the other families who have people, uh, relatives that are still in that building. And I, I pray for the families that are hurting that may have lost some people in that building. See, we don't think about that. And I, you know, I, I'm, I was the same way when I was immersed in kind of the narcissism of evangelical theology. I didn't think about it either. I mean, like if our, if our child was sick, say in the hospital and got healed and got better and got out, we would be like, thank you, Jesus, Jehovah Rophi, the Lord God, my healer, healed my child. Of course, that's appropriate. But too often, we didn't think about those other children in the hospital that weren't healed or that were still sick in that hospital and their parents were hurting, you see. Recently, I saw a prayer of one of my favorite entertainers, Dick Van Dyke, and he was praying at the mealtime with his children and grandchildren, and he prayed a prayer that was Something I don't hear prayed very much, but it really illustrated his heart beyond his table. Now, here he is, a wealthy, famous entertainer. He could coast the rest of his life. He could be one of those guys that doesn't want to be taxed on any of his riches and doesn't want to care about any programs for anyone poorer than himself. But instead, this is a man who goes down the midnight mission and he, he serves the poor meals. But when he prayed with his grandchildren and his grandchildren or his, his wife, uh, someone like kind of did a, a selfie little video of him praying and put it online and I'd seen it. But his prayer was, Father, we thank you so much for that my children and grandchildren are here for this meal. But we also pray for those who don't have food or they're short on money and worried how they're going to get groceries. Or maybe they're, they're sick uh, from, from COVID or some other illness that's out there that you would he heal them and help those who are disadvantaged and, and don't have this wonderful food like we do. Now, don't be black and white and all or nothing and you're thinking about this. I'm not saying every prayer you pray, you have to kind of be altruistic rather than narcissistic, but I just want to, you know, open your eyes to something that, you know, I've been thinking about for a while and it's really became more, more clear to me with that Florida incident that we have to love our neighbor. Christ said the two highest commandments are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. Amen.